Hey YouTube, it's Grace, and for this week's video, I decided to give my art room a very much needed makeover. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can technically call it an art room because it's just been used as storage for my entire life. And I would just sit in the corner and paint with like a little lamp above me. <laughs> but I think it qualifies as an art room now. I spent like two weeks doing this, but I just wanted to take you guys along and show you kind of what I started out with versus what I was able to turn it into because I am very proud of it. So let's get into it. I'm gonna do a little tour of the before of this room because no one has touched it yet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Once I finish this painting, I'm actually going to upgrade this room a whole bunch, do a deep clean, do some organizing, add some more storage, but right now it is so chaotic. I have no room to store my paintings, so they literally just go against the wall or on this table or against this wall or over here. <laughs> I have no organization for any of the cardboard that I use, so this is just in a pile around where I sit, which is literally just on a old piece of carpet. There are cobwebs in the ceiling. The ceiling is green and painted and there's stickers. I have no idea how long this project is going to take, but I am working on the last painting that I'll need to like pre-film everything for the rest of 2023. I have no idea when I'm gonna be posting this. It's currently November 3rd, so I'm proud of myself for like getting ahead on everything, but I will probably see you guys in like a week-ish or less. All right, that last clip was a few days ago. And since then, my dad has emptied out a bunch of stuff from this room, but now it is my job to empty this half of the room. <laughs> I am exhausted, but here is an update. This room is getting echoey, which means it's getting empty. <laughs> I moved probably about half the cardboard that I have into my garage for recycling because I realized it's not really the right size for shipping a painting, so there's no point in keeping it. But unfortunately, I don't really have any more room to move anything like this basement is so full. So I think I'm just going to start on the next process, which is cleaning. For cleaning, I'm gonna start from the top and work my way down. So starting with the ceiling, fabuloso, microfiber cloth, bucket, and sweat and blood and tears. I don't think this window has been cleaned in my entire life. This water is literally black. Second bucket of water, completely black, literally just from this window, oh my goodness. So I have immediately given up on my plan of starting from the top and going to the floor because um, I got bored. I'm now working on the floor because there are so many little like rust spots from old file cabinets and so I am scraping them off and making them look nice. All right, end of day one update. I've been working in here for about four hours trying to clear everything out and clean as much as I can. Floors are going to need so much work over here, but I really like the design, so I'm gonna do it. I also decided today that I'm probably gonna end up painting the walls because I do not want to spend an arm and a leg like on new paneling or whatever, but this just doesn't look great. So there's just so many spots where there was tape. I'm not sure what color yet, but it is getting painted. Okay, it's now day two of cleaning this room and I'm not really gonna narrate anything today because everything's basically the same, just cleaning the ceiling and the walls and the floor. I spent a total of seven hours cleaning these floors today, but they look so much better. They're not perfect. There's still some scratches in some places, but I got all of the 30 plus year old dirt off. So I am very proud of myself. So that is a wrap of day two. Hello, so I took yesterday off of cleaning because my wrists were killing me after seven hours of scrubbing these floors, uh, but I'm back. So welcome to day three of renovations. Today, my goal is to finish cleaning the ceilings, which I guess they don't look too bad on camera, but there are some 
cobwebs and dust and stuff. And I also want to clean the walls and this shelf here. And after 13 hours of emptying out this room and cleaning it to the best of my ability, phase one of this little room makeover is done. No more cobwebs on the ceiling. I got as much of the paint off of the like air duct stuff as I could, but this is marker, so I guess it's staying. <laughs> For some reason, there was so much tape on the wall and it took off all of the like fake wood design. I don't even know, but that's all gone. I did my very best to get the rusty spots off the floor and this shelf area is also clean. So now I guess I just need to tape off the windows and the doors and then probably the duct work and then I can start painting. Tomorrow I am going with my mom to Menards and I think I'm gonna get new like outlet covers so that they all match and I'm also going to get white paint and probably some color paint for the wall but I'm not 100% set on what color that is yet. But anyways, I think that's pretty much a wrap of day three. I might do some taping later but that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay, I take back what I said about being done for the day. This is what both the windows have looked like my entire life. We haven't been able to like kick them apart for some reason. Well, that's what my dad said, but I figured it out and so now I'm cleaning them. So this is before and this is after. My entire life, we have literally never had natural light down here. I am so excited. Take it down. How long did this take? Too long. <laughs> Ah. With a grand total of zero inches to spare, they fit. Who needs a truck? Okay, hi. Sorry, I did not film much at that store. There were a lot of people around and I had a lot of things I needed to remember, but I'm home now and we got everything. So now I am taping everything so that I can start painting. I'm not gonna paint the walls first, but yeah, ceilings are going first. I'm just taping everything now. I just finished taping. I got all of the doors and then also some of the duct stuff up here. So now it's time for painting. Okay, here is a progress check. I feel like I'm doing pretty good, but it's definitely gonna take two coats. I have paint on my face, in my hair, on my hands. My shirt is completely covered. It is almost 10 p.m. I am completely covered in paint, but with the help of my dad, we got the first coat of the ceiling done. I'm definitely going to have to clean the floors again. My cat also left a little mark here. I am, I am a mess. But the ceiling is looking so much better. But anyways, I think that is it for today. My goal tomorrow is just to prime the walls, which is not going to be nearly as labor intensive as the ceiling. Hello. I am very tired today, but I'm also excited to work on this project. So today's goal, as I said yesterday, I think is priming the walls. So I am currently taping the floor. I literally just have one piece down so far, but then after that, I'm gonna clean all the paint that I put yesterday. In case you were wondering why I'm doing all these stripes before I actually use the roller, 
because the paneling is a different texture like in between the grooves and I just want to make sure that I get everything coated well. I just finished painting all of like the borders of the paneling. So this is how the whole room is looking. This is a very much trust the process moment right now, but I'm gonna let this dry for a bit and then I'm gonna go back in with the roller and fill everything else in. And here we go, finished priming, or the first coat of primer at least. I'm not sure if I need a second really, but I mean, I think it's looking pretty good. My last step for today is cleaning the floors, which I'm not looking forward to, but it is necessary. All right, floors are clean and dry, walls are also dry, so this is my end of day progress check. Hello, sorry for the lack of updates, it has been several days since I last recorded, but in that time my dad and I have worked on the second coat of paint and even the third coat in some spots, so the ceiling is looking really nice. It still needs some touch-ups, which I'm gonna be doing today. Like along here, you can see the little dark still. And then above, like the metal tube still needs more. I have just been very caught up with school and play practice and I haven't really recorded much of this process because I've only been able to work on it for really small increments at a time. And after many days and much paint on my clothes, the ceiling is pretty much done, I think. There are probably a few more touch-ups I'm gonna make at the very end, but overall it is looking so much better, which means I now get to move on to the walls. This is the color that I chose for the walls, which on camera looks really like boring, but in person it's more like a light purple lilac color and it's really pretty. I forgot to record myself using the roller until the very end and by that time it was too late but here is the first coat of the walls done. I'm planning to do a second coat just to be safe but yeah this is still wet so it looks a little splotchy right now but overall I think the color is looking pretty good. I don't know why it looks so gray on camera. In person it's so much more bright. Welcome back to day. I don't even know what day we're on. Uh, it's November 18th. I think I set a date at the very beginning of this video. I don't even remember. Today I'm gonna do the second coat of the purple paint and then maybe a couple touch-ups on the ceiling. I have run into a tiny problem. So apparently my dad is painting my grandparents' house today so I don't have the paint roller um, and I have no patience so I'm just using the brush on the walls. So I already did this, all this, and that corner. So all I have left is this wall here, but this is all I have left. Plus a little bit more in the can, but we are gonna be cutting it close. I really hope I have enough. Y'all, I'm not gonna believe this. I did it, but this is how much paint I have to spare. And now for the most satisfying part of this whole process. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, so I lied. This is not the most satisfying part of this project. In fact, it is not satisfying at all. This is probably the worst experience I've ever had with painter's tape. I don't know why it is not coming up. All right, I got all the tape off, as annoying as that was, but it's looking pretty good now. I think my last step is gonna be cleaning the floor, but I'm not doing that right now. So I will record what I do. 
Here's another update for the next day. I figured you guys probably didn't want to watch me clean the floor again, so I didn't film it, but I did it, except I did leave this. And I also put these like wooden shelves back. So the next step I think is to start putting furniture back in here. First I have this sofa, which was a little bit difficult to get through the door. We replaced all our furniture upstairs earlier this year because this is like super old, but I have leather wipes, so I'm just trying to fix it up a little bit. Also got all new light switch and outlet covers, so that is next. Okay, I need to clean this out, but I don't have any patience. Okay, I've been playing music, so I haven't been recording much because I do not want a copyright strike. <laughs> but here is how it's looking so far. I'm moving all my cardboard and other storage stuff back in here. I have the paintings on this shelf for now, but I am planning on building another shelf for them, so this is only temporary. Desi, what do you think? And another update, I added a plant just because it's actually light enough in here because the windows are clean. So I feel like it would, you know, like the air cleaner or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I think I'm pretty much done. The carpet was rolled up. So I just have weights like holding it down so that they don't like come up at the edges. For separate videos, I think I'm going to repaint both of the doors because I just feel like I could do a lot better job. And I'm going to be building a separate shelf for all of my paintings, which I'm probably going to rearrange stuff over here and have it against this wall, but I'm not sure yet. I started clearing stuff out of this room on November 6th because I just looked at my calendar and it is now November 19th. So this was definitely a time commitment, a big project. But anyways, I think that pretty much concludes this video. I'm really excited to fix up the doors and repaint them and then build the shelf for my paintings. But I'm going to do those for separate videos because I want to do like tutorials for the doors and I don't want this video to be a million years long because I have no idea how long it is right now. <laughs> but yeah, final like 360. We got the storage, we got the paintings, the door, the plants, the sitting corner. That's my color guard flag, but I don't do that anymore. So, <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will hopefully see you in my next one.